There was a time in Australia during the so-called golden age of capitalism where governments, no matter their political persuasion, would pursue a full employment agenda and go as far as championing the size of their fiscal deficits, which would create the money they were allowing the private sector to save through their deficit spending. Backed by a legacy of record high employment, it was Conservative Liberal Party Prime Minister Sir Robert Menzies who once boasted in 1962 that too few people realise that a cash deficit of 120 million will of itself have a most expansionary effect. In other words, a deficit usually equals growth. With this in mind, we should not allow ourselves to forget that in practice, the government taking a larger share of the debt burden has led to better outcomes for the Australian people than austerity principles that heap the debt burden onto households and businesses.